Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm good. What's up, JT? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Trinity. If you would like to join the family, all you gotta do is click subscribe. I am back with another TikTok hack video. We are gonna be testing out TikToks to see if they work. Also, TikToks that you guys tagged me on TikTok. For more content like this, all you gotta do is like the video. Let's try to get this to 10K likes. Usually, I would say 20K. But, J team, we kind of been slipping a little bit. So let's knock it down to 10K. Okay, so someone actually tagged me in this and it looks really cool. It's holiday appropriate. And it's like some type of decorative peppermint bowl. Let's give it a try. I'm a little nervous. I'm pretty sure it'll work out, right? It should, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have some peppermints right here. They're not the perfect peppermints, uh, but they'll work. Some of them are broken, but they'll work. Parchment paper, that is very important. And this is sugar-free. All they had was sugar-free. I just realized looking at this that I haven't bought any uh, candy canes to go on the tree. Like, I probably should buy some. I mean, who doesn't like candy canes on a tree? They all definitely need to be touching. I'm hoping that it kind of expands a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. Time to put it in the oven. All right, wish me luck. All right, so on TikTok, I saw this lady. Well, she said apparently whipped cream and jello mixed together, frozen, overnight creates ice cream. What? I mean, you're a lot ice cream. Y'all know I love ice cream. So I'm like, you know what? Let's try it. I should have tried to see the sugar comparison and stuff because is this like an, like is this an easier way to, you know, get in that sweet tooth but with less calories? We about to find out. Okay, so I have some whipped cream and y'all as a little girl, I wouldn't even say as a little girl. <laughs> As an adult, as a teenager, whatever, you guys, I actually would eat this whipped cream out of container. No lie. So since this is going to need to be in the freezer overnight, I wanted to get it started while the peppermint is in the oven. Let me let me go check on that real quick. Let me let me go check on that. Okay, change of plans, you guys. We must get to the peppermints. I mean, I knew it would be that fast, but I didn't know if it was gonna be that fast. Wow, it looks really nice. First of all, it's extremely hot. Now we must get a bowl. Oh man, this is going to be the tricky part. I think this bowl is big enough. Um, I'm just a little nervous because should we let this cool a little bit? Oh yeah, this, this needs to cool a tad because this is still liquidy. Let's let it sit for a little bit. Your girl's not a sugar expert. Man, if we had like those perfect um, peppermints, you guys, this would have looked so much better, but it looks good. It just could have looked better. You know what I'm saying? What if it was like a taco? Okay, I think it's a little bit cooled down. All right, so I have a bowl with parchment paper on it just so it's easy to peel off. And now I'm about to take this, watch closely, and let's just flip it on here. Oh God, oh my Lord. <laughs> Who do I think I am? Oh, this is gonna look uneven. Ah! It's because, oh my gosh. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. Dang, it could have been so great. It could have been so great. So while that's in the refrigerator, let's get back to this. Oh man. So we have our Cool Whip. Oh man. I'm definitely gonna have to taste some of this. By the way, I don't think anyone else is gonna be eating. Well, my husband might have some. So yes, I'm going to taste it and put the spoon back in, okay? I am because it's gonna be within the family. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh my gosh. Cool Whip tastes so good. I could eat a whole thing of this. <laughs> All right. So it's that many carbs, huh? Let's see how many is in here. Mm, wow. There's really only three grams of carbs in here. Well, what is it made out of? I'm surprised. I mean, shoot. This might just be a healthier snack. A healthier dessert, I should say, because I mean, wow. You're not supposed to boil the jello. You're supposed to pour it in. So as you can see, it's just like this, and we're gonna give it a good mix. Wow, the color is, is looking very much vanilla-like. By the way, that is vanilla flavor. I'm gonna put the top back on, and I'm going to freeze it and I will be back hopefully by tonight to taste it. Okay, so hopefully y'all didn't forget about the peppermint bowl. I believe it's cooled enough. Wow, look at this. Aw. It did work, but of course, it did not work as beautifully as I wanted it to. Let's give a different lighting. These are the results. It looks really good, but of course, it's just like, oh. If I had like the perfect peppermints, I believe it would have turned out better. I don't know, I would definitely make this again and make it like in mini cups, but it's like a little bowl. Put little treats in there, put some ice cream in there, you know? I don't I don't know, but it's, it's decorative. But it did in fact work. I think there's some cooler stuff that I could probably do with this type of method right here. Definitely like a chocolate bowl. I mean, come on. That would be perfect for something like this. Okay, so I've been hearing about this combination where they have some watermelon, some lime juice, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, Tajin. Tajin. Don't kill me. I've been seeing this around a lot, but I've never even tried it, y'all. I don't even know what it tastes like. I know that it goes well with mango. Like, I know about it. First of all, why is the opening so complicated? Ooh, Jesus. Chili. Chili. So, yeah, put some lime juice up in here. Lime juice. I feel like watermelon is starting to go out of season because this watermelon do not look sweet. I probably should have tasted it. And some of this. I don't know how much is a lot or a little. And we're gonna mix it, and we're gonna see if it tastes good. Mixing it together. All right, let's see. Mmm. 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 Ooh, wow. This is so not like me. <coughs> this got me acting unusual. I don't know, usually I wouldn't like something like this. All I know is it's good. Mmm. Mm. Y'all, this is so good, it got me leaning. It got me leaning. Mm. A few moments later. I can't even explain what it tastes like. It was just good, okay? It, it had like a nice little lime twang to it, but I don't know. I'm actually speechless, I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. All I know is it's good. It's really, really good. And I think I might have to give me some more. I don't know what to do with my life. I gotta rethink it all. I gotta rethink everything. See, this ain't this ain't salt on watermelon. And don't even say that it is. This is not salt on watermelon. I don't want I don't even want to hear that. It's similar to salt on watermelon. No, no, no. Cause your girl don't do salt on watermelon. That's that's just not. I've I've, I've never been part of that clique. Okay, this is a different. Look, different. Okay, so I saw this hat. It's not really a hat. The guy basically just said, like, these pizzas. <laughs> I think he was a little lit, you know what I'm saying? But when you lit, sometimes you get real creative. He was saying that these are frozen, right? So you could just kind of break them, you know? Break it up like this. By the way, pepperoni's my favorite all day. Grew up on these. Now he's saying you can eat them like oodles and noodles, you know, like just eat them frozen. No, sir. No, sir. 
This is where he lost me. However, in my head, I'm like, well, you could go ahead and make pizza bites though. Like when you make this pizza, obviously it's a whole pizza and then you have to cut it. And my thing is, well, why don't you just go ahead and kind of, you know, break it up a little bit and then put it on there and then cook it. And then boom, it's already cut. It's, you got like little weird different size pizza bites. So I'm like, okay, like you almost had us. You almost had us. But I, I see where you was going, sir. I see where you was going. So it's all nice and mixed up. Now it's time to put it on the baking pan. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is either genius or not so genius. Wow. It might be. We got our little pizza bites. Now, of course, they are kind of shaped a little weird, but I mean, at least it's already broken up, you guys. Like, this is a one person pizza, or at least for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to share it. Is so you let me know is this a hack? Is this something that you would do? Do y'all get the vision? Either way, we about to pop it in because your girl hungry. So it's now time to put y'all on, okay? I haven't seen this on TikTok, but this is like my hack that I would recommend people to try. So if you don't like hot sauce and you don't like spicy food, this might not be for you. So your girl got some ruffle chips. These are just the best kinds of chips for this situation. If you have a small bag or a Ziploc bag that's small, go ahead and get one. Y'all, I'm so excited for this. Get you a chip. And I like the ruffles because, I mean, come on, who don't like ruffles? Like, come on now. Get you some hot sauce and put it on that chip. Put that hot sauce on that chip like this. Now I'm telling you, if you have a Ziploc bag or you already have a bag of chips, then you good. Just pour it in there, shake it up. But y'all, this is something that I would always do. First of all, I eat hot sauce on my fries. You're not gonna always see me on here doing it because I know some of y'all are like, sometimes I don't see you do it or whatever. I don't do it all the time, but most of the time, I put a hot sauce on my fries, okay? So it's really no surprise that I'm putting hot sauce on this chip, but Mm. Oh. Woo! Listen. Listen. Let's just go at it again. Like I said, put the hot sauce on the on the, on the chip, on the chip, on the chip, on the chip. Y'all, I'm like that person. I'm just gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it a butt with you. Anything I put on hot sauce, y'all, I'm drenching it, okay? I'm just gonna keep it real with you. If y'all really saw how much hot sauce I put on my fried chicken, y'all might be a little concerned, but just think of it like buffalo wings, just fried chicken. That's how I see it. That's why I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. It's just covered. Here go that hot sauce on that <laughs> Oh my goodness, like tell me who been doing this. I like you. If you've been doing this, we friends. Okay, we friends. Mm. If you eat them in like a small bag, like a small ruffle bag, or Lay's chips is cool, but it's really the ruffles because I just think the ruffles just, it kind of doesn't get soggy too quick. Or when it do get a little soggy because you might have a lot of hot sauce on it, it'll still give that crunch. See, ruffles be looking out, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a very solid chip, you know what I'm saying? It's a solid chip. It ain't gonna break on you, it's solid. One more, <sighs> one more. I have heard like uh, spicy bowls, which just wait on it. Spicy bowls have, have been going around a lot on TikTok. It kind of reminds me really of a seafood boil just without the seafood kind of, um, just with like sausage and eggs and stuff. But some people have been dipping like chips in it and I'm like, been that. <laughs> and it mostly is from like, I don't know, Florida or Louisiana, I'm not sure, but I'm from North Carolina. <sighs> oh my gosh, mm, mm. That is just so satisfying. Try it out. Tag me on TikTok or Instagram if you try it or if you do it. Cause if you know, then you know. Okay, so my pizza bites are done. What do y'all think? 
Of course, it looks good. If you do eat this, it looks good. But anyways, let me know if this is a cool hack. I like it, okay? Because I don't have to worry about cutting the pizza when it's hot. You know, it's easier to eat. So I'm about to go ahead and eat this because, I mean, it's so... Do I really need to try this on camera? It's already good. We know this. All right, you guys. So I just got done taking a shower, washing my face, but I almost forgot. I got to taste the ice cream. It is around that time where I usually get a little craving, okay? So it should be frozen by now. It hasn't been in there overnight, but it should be frozen by now. So let's see. This looks so funny. <laughs> Okay, that's a little better. Open this up. Hmm. It's giving stiff. Oh. It's definitely a little harder. It is kind of giving ice cream. Like, let me let me give y'all a close up so y'all can see up close. Is that not giving ice cream? It is time to taste. I'm gonna dig deep. All right, bon appetit. Mm. It tastes good. The only thing, there is a but, the mixing of that jello powder. I can kind of taste like little bites. It's not bad. I just wish maybe I mixed it up a little better. It's kind of giving banana pudding, just without banana in the uh, wafers. Actually, your girl already eats whipped cream by itself. So how about I just freeze it and eat it like that? like. I don't think I needed the jello. All right, you guys, this does end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, of course, give me a thumbs up. Let's try to get this video to, I don't know, 10K likes or 20K, whatever, y'all. Just show it love, okay? Just like the video if you enjoy it. Big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, all you gotta do is click subscribe to that notification bell. Let me know below. And that is it. Oh, and big shout outs to um, the beautiful, gorgeous queen I saw at Target. What's crazy is she told me that I gave her a shout out in my video, so how weird is that? Like, that's just crazy. Don't forget to be bold, brave, and beautiful, and I will catch y'all in my next video.